Hey guys, welcome back to the video chat full stack project with Golang series. Now in this video, we will be looking at the uh, write pump method. So we've done the read pump. Now in this video, we'll do the write pump uh, function. So uh, in the last video, we uh, used functions like set read limit. So just want to show you that with the Golang web sockets, you can set read limit uh, for the message which is, which is read from the peer. And if the message exceeds this limit, the connection sends a closed message. Okay. And similarly, we had a read uh, deadline, right? Uh, not just a read limit, but also a read deadline we had, which sets the read deadline. So after read has time out, the web, sex, uh, web socket connection will be cut up in the sense it will say that if the read has not happened in this kind of time and this deadline, then all the future reads will have to return a zero because you can't keep uh, connections open you can't keep waiting for connections or for uh, you know the messages so you want to have read deadlines and read uh, limits in terms of size size and time similarly today uh, we'll be working with setting the uh, right uh, the right deadline okay and uh, which will basically be the right weight variable that we've already defined now we'll also be using a uh, next writer function. So next writer function, it will uh, send us a writer for the next message to send. And um, this again is something that I'll be using in today's video. So just wanted to show you that we'll be using set right uh, deadline and next writer and the previous video we used uh, the uh, right uh, the read size and the read deadline so let's get started now starting with the right pump function the right pump function the first thing that we'll create is the ticker so whenever you've seen messages in a chat you always know that they have timestamps so we need to create a ticker With the ping period and then we'll create a different function just like we did in the previous video which will run uh, at the end of this function we just at that time we just have to stop the ticker and we have to close the connection altogether then we will select cases So if it's send, then we will uh, use the set right deadline, which we just talked about, and we'll set it to the right weight. We've already created this variable for right weight around 10 seconds. If not OK, then we will simply return from here. Then we've talked about the next writer function, which will get our text message. And this will help us to define the next writer for the next message. Let's handle the error as well. So if error is not equal to nil, we will return. And we'll say w dot write message. Then we'll take a variable called n, which will be equal to send and we'll say for i equal to zero i is less than the length and we'll increment it here we'll use the new line uh, variable we had created just a while back 
helps us to write things on a new line. So all of these messages. And to send it. C.send. Okay. Then you check for error. And the last case for the ticker. Here we'll again set write deadline and set it to time dot now dot add. and we'll add again the right weight variable right message web socket dot ping message comma nil and return so ideally you want to write the messages right from this function write pump uh, with their correct time ticker for using the time ticker and we have a defer function which closes the ticker and the connection at the end now <clears throat> when whenever you get some messages right you will uh, choose the next writer you will write using that next writer which is w and uh, you get the access to the text message with websocket.text message you set a write deadline also there. Now for multiple messages, you iterate over all of them uh, throughout the length of the messages and then you write them along with new line. New line which we already defined helps us to write messages in new line. And uh, that's, about, that's about it. So thanks a lot for watching this video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching again and see you in the next video.